Good morning, hot dogs, and welcome to the morning announcements. Antonio, did you enjoy the snowstorm this past weekend? No, because of it, I had to clean off all the snow off the cars and off the driveway. Nice. Anyways, today we'll be covering uh, exciting news such as DECA, counselors, and so much more. Now it's time for the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This week is National School Counselor Week. Please show our counselors some love and support. We had Boozer last year, and you had Mice and Men book, and you had the Mice and Men book. Please return the book. Last week, Mrs. Bishop's Principles of Marketing students competed in the Virtual Business Retailing Challenge. Congratulations to Connor Boone for placing first and Chris Darnell for placing second. After a week-long sports marketing competition, congratulations to David Mendez for placing first and Chase Thomas placing second in the Virtual Business Sports Challenge. Congratulations to the both of you. Now let's into the sports and weather with Elijah and Emily. Good morning, hot dogs. I hope you all had a good and safe weekend. I don't know about you, but I'm so not enjoying the snowy weather. It is currently 27 degrees outside. Today's high is 31 degrees and mostly cloudy. Tonight, temperatures will drop to 24 degrees and partly cloudy as well. Throughout the week, temperatures will remain in the low 30s. That's it for today. Now back to the famous wrestler for Elijah, <laughs> Elijah for sports. <laughs> the dogs had a rough one Friday, falling to Crawfordsville 86 to 62. The dogs fell behind 0 to 9 from the beginning and were trying to play catch up from then on. The team was able to get to the rim and score against a long athletic Athenians team. But the team was never able to string together consistent defensive stops and rebounds. Landon Mejia, Jade Ayers, and Deacon Spencer all led the team with 14 points each. Riley Goodnight had 9, Arod Valdez Sandoval 6, Doug Wood 3, Kai Kirby 2. Jade Ayers and Arod Valdez Sandoval were solid defensively with their physicality and toughness. The JV team fell 53-58. to The team had a 9-point lead at halftime, but struggled to attack together and manufacture great consistent shots. Consistent shot quality in the second half. Kai Kirby led the team with 18 points, and Eli Oldham had 13. Both teams returned to conference play next Thursday at home against Denville. Elijah Anthony won the Frankfurt sectional this past weekend in the quarterfinal round. He pinned Clint Prairie's Braden Mullendore in 35 seconds. In the semifinal round, he went against Fisher's Dylan Parati, again won by fall in 255. In the final, Elijah had to wrestle Carmel in the sexual finals for the third year in the row. This time, he came out as the victor. After two years of heartbreak and gained second to Carmel, he finally won his first sectional championship with an 8-2 victory. Other price winners include Eric Capillion, 6th place, Leo Rella, 6th place, Jimmy Osler, 5th, Charlie Garcia, 6th, and Elijah will wrestle in the regional this Saturday at Frankfurt. Wrestlers will have a mandatory meeting today after school in the wrestling room. And thanks for my sister for getting me some sweet Mario merch. Thanks, I got owe you one. That's it for sports. Now back to Ivan and Antonio. It's finally that time. Lunch will have different food on, diff on all lines, and students can choose any line at any time. Lines 1 and 2 have mini pancakes and sausage. Lines 3 and 4 have sausage bagel, and all lines have chef salads. That is all for the announcements, hot dogs. Make sure to not fall in the snow, and also make sure to stay safe and stay motivated. Make sure to like, subscribe, and have a marvelous Monday.